Something that's is the story of a woman right after the, the unrest that swept across Kenya in 2007. And it's her story, the um, story of a victim told in parallel to the story of Joseph, uh, one of her young attackers. The screenplay was written by Mungai Kiroga. Um, but I, you know, and I, which, and I loved the, the screenplay written by Mungai Kiroga. But I wrote in a lot of uh, the part of, of Joseph. Uh, I felt that within the film it was very important to, to not just concentrate on the story of the victim but to to also look at other aspects of the violence, the things that cause them and ask ourselves questions about what um, a victim is, what a perpetrator is and where the line between them uh, is drawn. Uh, during 2007, you know, it, uh, there were a lot of victims but there were also a lot of perpetrators and I think in, later the, in, in a lot of the analysis we, we look at perpetrators and, and you know is, is the great big evil people behind all of this but um, it's, it's it, there's a lot of guilt that is carried uh, by people who, who carry out certain deeds because they're swept away by the action or because they're they're, they're um, in a particular group and feel that they they must act in, in a certain way and they live with the consequences of that those actions and Joseph uh, the character in the film something necessary is is one of the perpetrators who definitely carries a guilt that he he needs to to find a, a way to unburden himself one fine day who are the, were the producers of of something necessary also produced uh, Soul Boy by Hawaii Sunan and um, Nairobi Half Life, which created such a wonderful buzz, not just in Kenya but it, across the world, in in a sense. Uh, so they produced those three films and are right now uh, producing or, or getting ready to to produce a fourth Veve. Uh, One Fine Day is I, I'd call it a platform, really a platform that uh, takes established um, filmmakers or, or filmmakers who, who've done at least. Um, a film or a couple of films before and are trying to sort of seek a, a, a more international audience or a, a broader audience to break out of this, this glass ceiling that many filmmakers like myself uh, find ourselves under. And um, th they have a very interesting system where you know uh, the film begins with a, a workshop. It's, it, the film is, is workshopped, um, so a, a great number of people across not just Kenya but across Africa attend this workshop. And from there, um, heads of department are, are chosen, including the director, in, uh, and, and each person has a mentor. Something necessary came out just a couple of months before the elections, uh, the 2013 elections, there was a lot of trepidation, a lot of nervousness around Kenya because uh, the country had literally cracked into in half, in, into pieces in 2007. Here was a film all about that, you know, all about one of the victims, all about one of the perpetrators that didn't end with a sort of definitive answer to it all. So audiences um, were extremely involved, I think, in the viewings. Many people after uh, came out and were silent for a long, long time. Um, a lot of people said they, they couldn't stop thinking about it after they watched it because um, yeah, it was a hard to f film to make and a hard film to watch. I would, I would hope that Something Necessary had a deep and, and lasting impact. Um, if anything, it's a record of, of a time that we've been through as a nation. Right now we're very um, celebratory, it feels younger, it, you can feel the change of a generation and it's very easy to forget where we've come from. So if there's one thing that uh, Something Necessary does, I hope it'll be just an everlasting testament to a time and, and a thing that we, we all live through.